Good morning everyone. It is finally fall and I have found myself in the beautiful state of Vermont. And today is a unique adventure because I will be van life camping here at an apple orchard. And I plan to pick some apples, go through a corn maze, carve some pumpkins all around a cozy campfire, make some delicious fall meals for the day, and it's going to be a blast. And Millie and I are starting our day off just right with a nice hot cup of tea and a morning stroll through this beautiful road. These leaves are really starting to change here. And if you know anything about Vermont fall, it gets really, really vibrant here. So I'm really excited to experience that. But today's gonna be a really fun day. I need to go into town, get some groceries, take a shower, and then we'll get to the fall festivities. So follow along. So I found this spot on an app called Hip Camp. It's another one of my apps that I use to find campsites and sticky situations. I was having a hard time finding a place here in Vermont that's free uh, to camp at. So I went on Hip Camp and found this place for like $40 a night or something. And it's a whole apple orchard. It's freaking awesome. So later today, I'm gonna pick some apples, go through the corn maze with Millie, carve some pumpkins and make a fire in this beautiful fire pit that's right here. It's gonna be a good day. I can't wait. Oh no, yikes, I'm spinning out. I can't get up this hill. I need to back up and get some, uh, get some momentum. Okay, so there's this hill in front of me. It's like a slight hill, but it's all grass and the grass is a little wet from, this, from the dew this morning. And my tires are just spinning out because these vans are two wheel drive. So I'm going to have to floor it up this hill. Wish me luck. Oh, I am barely making it up this hill. Oh my gosh, this grass is wet. This is crazy. It's not even muddy. It's just wet grass. Well, this is convenient. There is a Planet Fitness, which is the gym that I use to shower on the road, and a Walmart right next to each other in the same parking lot. Love when that happens. <laughs> Okay, folks, I'm gonna run inside to Planet Fitness and take a quick shower. I would take you guys with me, but I don't feel comfortable filming in there considering it's against the rules. So I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, I'm all freshened up. I decided to whip out the fall flannel since we're doing some fall activities and it's nice and crispy outside. Next up on the agenda 
is to go into Walmart and get some ingredients for this fall feast we're having tonight. Okay, since it's fall, and since we're camping in an apple orchard, I figured I would make a delicious apple crisp. So we'll have to pick some apples at the apple orchard, but there are a few things I need to get from here. And on top of that, I'm thinking about making some pumpkin chili for dinner and then have the apple crisp afterwards. Should be pretty good. Okay, we're finally out of there. Ended up spending about 50 bucks, but it'll be worth it. I even got a candle and a pumpkin carving kit for our festivities for tonight. I'm so excited. Ah! All right, here we are, home sweet home. Peck Farm Orchard. This spot is so beautiful. All that farmland back there, got a nice cozy fire pit right up against this beautiful pond. And then the apple orchard is right behind the van here. Millie's having a good time <laughs> playing with her toy. We've got nice clear sky for my solar and Starlink. We've got everything we need here, boys and girls. But now that I've got camp set up, I think it's time to hit the apple orchard, go pick some apples and uh, indulge in some fall activities. So this apple orchard is actually open to the public here. So anyone can come here, pick apples, go through the corn maze. You don't have to be camping here. As a matter of fact, I was talking to the owner and he said that this whole camping thing is a new thing they're trying out. And honestly, I think this is so cool. To be able to camp right here at an apple orchard, Go and pick some apples is so sick. And the campsite is pretty secluded too. You have to go through the front gate and then drive around the back side of the orchard to get to it. So, so it's a pretty good spot. So this year has been a really weird year for New England in general. They've gotten so much rain this summer. It's been crazy. And they even had a late frost, which caused a lot of these apple orchards to suffer and not grow any apples. And there's only a few apple orchards around here that actually have apples that you're allowed to pick. But Vermont specifically experienced a lot of rain and flooding even, which caused the apples to look a little ugly this year, but they're totally fine to eat. There's just like this weird little fungus on the outside of it. They're just a little bit ugly. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's an ugly looking apple right there. Wow, that's good. Okay, apples have been acquired. Probably got way too many, more than I need, but we got them. We're ready for the feast tonight. I'm gonna throw these in the van real quick. Right next to my cider donuts. Now let's go check out that corn maze. Let's see what that has to offer. All right, here we are at the corn maze. Let's hope we don't get too lost. Oh, wow. The sound of the corn stalks brushing together through the wind. Okay, which way do we go, left or right? Millie, what do you think? Oh, you think right? All right, let's do it. I actually don't know anything about this corn maze. I don't know how big it is, how long it is. <laughs> so I might actually get lost in here, who knows? After about 15 minutes of walking through the maze, we made it back out. We're so freaking good, dude. Dang, we're good. All right, it's time to pick out a pumpkin. Ooh. This one looks really nice. It's got a nice face. Oh, wait, Millie, what? <laughs> yeah, you're cute too, huh? I think I wanna get a small one, something that I can keep in the van. If I get something too big, I don't know, that'll be a little, little cumbersome to tote around. But this, this is like perfect. 
All right, pumpkin has been acquired. Now let's head back to camp, maybe start a campfire, watch the sunset, and start making some dinner. All right, I think it's about that time to start making some dinner. And what's on the menu for tonight is a recipe that I've never made before, so this will be my first shot at it but it's a pumpkin chili and then I'm gonna have an apple crisp for dessert with freshly picked apples straight from the orchard. All right, let's get to it. And to be honest, I am just following a recipe that I found online and if you want this recipe, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. And in short, the recipe calls for some diced red pepper onion with some spicy Italian sausage, fire roasted tomatoes, some pumpkin puree, kidney beans, black beans with some sea salt, black pepper, cinnamon. Uh, I should have got fresh garlic, but I forgot. So I'm using minced garlic here with some chicken broth and some olive oil. Super simple, should be pretty delicious. Oh, and I got a pumpkin carving kit. So we're gonna carve something amazing tonight. Can't wait for that. I'm gonna drain and rinse these beans off. Oops, definitely don't want that on there. Okay, so now that this sausage is browned, I'm gonna put it off to the side and start cooking up those bell peppers and onions. Now I'm just gonna cook these a little bit until they soften up, and then I'm gonna season them with all the goodies. But man, it is smelling good in here. And look at this view. Wow, this is so beautiful. The sun setting over that way. It's starting to cool off, getting a little crispy outside. I'm excited to carve that little pumpkin out there right next to the fire. And you know what? Since I'm having a nice fall festive dinner, I figured I might as well make Millie something a little festive. So I'm gonna spice up her dinner a little bit with some pumpkin puree, just a little bit. I don't wanna upset her stomach. Come on, Millie, come, sit, sit, down. Good girl, free. <laughs> All right, that's looking good. I'm gonna throw some garlic in there. Again, I definitely wish I would have gotten fresh garlic, but this is all I've got, I totally forgot. Now I'm doing two teaspoons of cumin, two and a half tablespoons of chili powder, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, some salt, and some black pepper. I'm gonna stir this up for about 30 seconds. Ooh, that smells amazing. That cinnamon is really cutting through that chili powder. Now we're gonna deglaze that pan with the fire roasted tomatoes. Two and a half cups of this chicken broth, which I think is this whole box, but just to be sure, I'm gonna measure it out. And this whole can of pumpkin puree. And I'm actually really curious to see how much this pumpkin puree cuts through this recipe. Pumpkin puree is not very flavorful, so we'll see. It might just thicken it up a little bit, but it's a fun experiment, you know? I'm gonna stir this up, bring it to a boil, and then let it simmer. Oh shoot, I almost forgot the sausage. So let's throw that in here as well. I forgot all the beans too. Dang, dude, I am slacking. Can you tell I've never made this before? <laughs> okay, I am going to let that simmer and then we are going to feast in this beautiful field. Ain't that right, Millie? I figured while that's simmering, might as well start peeling these apples, getting ready for this apple crisp that we're about to whip up. Millie, you having fun? 
Yeah? <laughs> She's having such a blast out here. Man, I can smell that chili from out here. Oops, forgot to take this off. Boom. Four apples, nice and shaved up. All right, let's go inside and check on that chili. Ooh, it smells so good in here. Oh my gosh. I think it's about done though. Let's serve this bad boy up. Wow, this looks so amazing. Millie, you have made such a mess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Millie, I need to teach you how to clean up after yourself. You sure do know how to make a mess out here, but honestly, I don't even care. I'm just glad you're having fun. That's all that matters. Wow, look at this view. This is so gorgeous. It's beautiful fall farmland with this nice cute little pumpkin and my hot pumpkin chili that I'm about to feast upon. Oh, you know what I forgot to get? Some sour cream or some shredded cheese and avocado. Break. Always forgetting something, man. Oh well, I bet it'll be amazing without it. Mmm, it's hot, but it is good. Millie, did you come to rescue me? It's okay, I'm good, I'm solid. I just burnt my tongue a little bit. Ooh. Definitely should have waited for that to cool, but I was just too daggum excited. It's really good, Millie. It's just a little hot. No big deal. I need some water, freak. Millie, hold down the fort. Don't eat the chili, okay? Don't eat the chili. <laughs> good girl, you didn't eat the chili. You're so good. Such a smart little puppy. Millie, that's bad manners. No paws on the table, okay? Wow. It's been such a wonderful day. And the best part is, it's not even over yet, baby. The main problem with making new recipes like this for me is that they're usually sized out for like a family of four or five. <laughs> and I'm just a dude living in a van and now I've got this massive pot of chili that I have to eat off of for the next week. <laughs> so it's a bit of a risk, you know, if I don't like the chili, I'm out of luck, man. <laughs> Thankfully, I really enjoyed this one though. All right, I think it's about that time. I got a nice cozy fire going. My belly is full with some delicious chili, but I'm not completely satisfied yet. So I'm gonna start making this apple crisp with the fresh apples that we picked straight from the orchard today. And to start off, I'm gonna start slicing these apples and it looks like on this recipe, I didn't need to actually peel them, but I did anyway. So there you go. You guys hear that? Those are coyotes. Millie, you hear those coyotes? Oh, they're coming from this way and that way, unless I'm hearing an echo. They sound pretty far away, so I'm not too, too worried, but coyotes do often go after dogs, so I'm gonna keep a close eye on Millie here. I don't want you getting eaten up by a coyote. Okay, these apples are all diced up, ready for cooking. All right, we're gonna do a half a cup of granulated sugar. We're gonna do half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a full teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, that is looking good already. All right, now I'm gonna do half a cup of all-purpose flour, third of a cup of oats, half a teaspoon of 
ground cinnamon, two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, a little bit of salt. Man, cooking like this sure does make a mess, but it's worth it. Holy crap, it got dark quick. Glad we got this fire going though, that's a nice fire. Might have to go up and get some more wood. All right, I'm gonna put some melted butter in this topping mixture. All right, now we just sort of sprinkle it on top as evenly as possible. Boom, that is looking good. All right, now we're just gonna pop this into the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. See you on the other side, buddy. time to carve a pumpkin. It is a beautiful clear night here and it's actually not too bad outside. It's not too chilly, not too warm. It's a good night to carve a pumpkin while we wait for the apple crisp to finish cooking. Ooh, that is so satisfying. gosh it smells so good oh yeah it's done Woo! I am so excited to eat this right now you guys have no idea these apples are cooked to perfection oh it smells like fall oh my gosh Wow, that is so flavorful. I really thought tonight couldn't get any better, but boy, was I wrong. I baked a delicious fall dessert right from my van using ingredients that I picked fresh from the orchard that was right behind my van. And I'm sitting here next to a cozy campfire carving a pumpkin in Vermont and you know what? To top it all off, I think it's a full moon tonight. So it's not quite a full moon, but it's basically a full moon right now. And it is beautiful rising above this tree line here. Holy crap. This is so cool. Okay, here's what we got. As you can see, doesn't really look all that special, but this candle is pretty big, so hopefully this doesn't put it out when I put the top on. Boom! Oh my goodness gracious. I'm not gonna lie. That's a pretty cool jack-o'-lantern. Let's put this guy by the fire. Oh yeah. <laughs> that looks so freaking cool! Next to the fire with the full moon back there. If you guys are wondering where Millie's at, she's in her bed. I think she's afraid of the dark if I'm being completely honest, which is a good thing for me because as soon as the sun sets, she puts herself to sleep and she stays in the van for the rest of the night. It's really adorable and it's really convenient because the last thing I want is for Millie roaming around in the woods at night, especially with those coyotes that I heard earlier among many other animals that could hurt her. So she's in her bed, hanging out, having her beauty slumber. And to be honest, I'm about to do the same thing. As soon as this fire goes out, I think I'm about ready for bed. It's been a long, long day. 